Charging your patient programmer and your EPT every day is an important routine to maintain for your stim router device. Let's walk through it together. First, make sure the AC adapter shows a green light when plugged into a working outlet. Next, insert the wall's adapter prong into the tail end of the Y cable. Then, insert one prong of the Y cable into the EPT's charging port. It needs to lock into place to charge, so make sure you press firmly until it clicks into place. A solid green light will appear on the EPT to indicate that it's charging. The second prong of the Y cable goes into the patient programmer's charging port. It doesn't need to lock into place, but will be snug when it's in all the way. The chasing circle that appears on the display will confirm for you that it's charging. It will take several hours for both the patient programmer and EPT to reach a full charge. The patient programmer will show a dash in the center of the display when the charging is complete. When the EPT finishes charging, its LED will blink green. Leave the components connected to the charger until you're ready to use them. Doing so even after both have reached a full charge will not harm the lifespan of your batteries.